Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and today I'm back with another episode of my Manchester United uh, Let's Play in Football Manager 2014. It's been a while since I did an episode, and you know, like I've said, uh, different things get me motivated to do a certain save, and this in real life. David Moyes, or well, I'm not sure whether to say uh, David Moyes or, or the whole team is playing crap. I don't think you should judge the manager. Uh, I reckon the team is crap, to be honest, uh, to be um, title winning. I don't reckon the midfield is good enough. Um, there's no creative, there's no creativity in midfield. That's what I wanted to bring with Paul Pogba. That's kind of signing they should have make, or uh, should have made, or the guy who scored against them, uh, Newcastle. Uh, what's his name? Kabai. I reckon, yeah, Kabai should be the one. And also, I uh, talk about new skin. Uh, this will get me back motivated. Into, I reckon it looks amazing. I'll leave in the description the skin. It's amazing. I reckon it looks great. And it has different options if you want it darker or whatever. You can put this light blue, how much, like, the percentage of transparency you want it. Uh, I like this, the blue kind, and have it a bit darker. I reckon it looks excellent. Uh, the arrows for improving looks great. It just looks fantastic, and this will get me motivated uh, to being a big team. But with Manchester United struggling, it really it, it gives me motivation to be, uh, to achieve with Manchester United. And like, today I've sat down, I tried my Sutton United one, I don't know, losing against great out play just got me frustrated. I just want to be Man United, get them where they belong, and uh, do, really being the true replacing of Sir Alex Ferguson, not David Moyes. Um, uh, I believe I'm doing a better job. Of course, you can say it's just a game, but um, I've made different signings, uh, no doubt. Uh, getting Pogba in, Balanta in defense, I reckon uh, those signings uh, were pretty good. I'm trying to sell some players that aren't that I don't think are good enough, like Ashley Young, but if I can't re get rid of him, uh, that's yeah, that's the way it's going to be. Uh, we can't really, you can't do much if he doesn't want to leave. So scouting update here for Lamella. Uh, the only thing is a bit different. Like there's so much different colors for these, uh, for different types. I'll probably have to get used to it. But again, I think it's uh, something unique. Ryan Ledson, he's potentially to be great. Um, yeah, he could be potentially one I could actually get from Everton, poach another Everton player. So, um, and yeah, this is from a shortlist actually for Passion for Football Manager. Uh, just just search in Google and you should be able to find it. But I might again leave the link for the Wonder Kids and the, you, you download a short, the shortlist of them. And yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, so he's actually going to be running out of contract at the end of next season. But um, physically, he's not great. I just got to see how it develops. And yeah, that's you got, you got to wait and see. So he's one guy who's definitely on my shortlist. Uh, Pogba, I showed you before anyway. Um, he was progressing well. Uh, I don't really want to offer for... Sonogo, see, all see these these all players you're seeing right now are on that Wonder Kid shortlist. If you're wondering, so Arsenal are considering Wenger's future. So that's even Arsenal are struggling. They're ninth, so it's been a pretty easy season for me to be honest. Most bigger teams have been uh, below standard. Like I'll show you again, uh, Wilson, who's a good young prospect striker. Uh, so if you want me to keep on with Manchester United, drop in the comments because I'm definitely motivated to be them, especially as they're struggling right now. And if I can build. If I can build something with them, and like this season, Manchester City, that we've got to still have to keep our tabs on Man City. They can go on a good run. So if we go on a losing run, they can be, um, yeah, definitely challenge us. But Liverpool, a team, one team that would challenge is way behind, and Arsenal. So that's two teams that are gone for sure. Even Tottenham. Uh, so right now, just between me and Chelsea being realistic, you see Everton seven points away from us. So uh, you see the difference between that. It's pretty big. Uh, so Swansea and Sunderland, and I believe my game is processing a bit quicker. I'm not sure exactly why. I'm just playing on. Yeah, I changed a few things, so hopefully it's alright. And yeah, today I'm just I'm just in a good mood to make videos. Like I'm kind of uh, actually I'm not sure how regular over the next month or so because I've got it's you know it's Christmas time and around or at least for in Australia I'm not sure how holidays work for people in school uh, for like UK and that. But yeah, my brother's going to be home and it's pro I'm probably going to be more busy. So uh, if I'm if you're going to see Whoa, Aspas. Of course, yeah, we'll only do that against Walsall. But yeah, uh, good effort by him. But anyway, as I said, my brother's going to be home and that might be a bit more busy uh, with family and going away for a week. At I think early January, I'll be going away. And I thought, I, I originally thought uh, that, I sh as you see here, uh, Hernandez, he uh, plays his shots, which is good for him because he's a good finisher. So that should be good. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, I, I had a choice to go away on holiday or not. Like originally, I thought, uh, it's pretty like sitting back. I think it's pretty stupid to get to get more viewers on YouTube. Just like if I went away for a week, I might not get as much subscribers if I would. But it's more it, like honestly, like, people these days 
they just focus on YouTube and they want to get big on YouTube. Honestly, I don't care. It's more important to spend time with her family than sit on YouTube all the time. And yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Uh, I go on holiday for a week with family, and I believe that's better than just to uh, focus on YouTube. Um, you got to sometimes, like in the last year or so, I've been focused a lot on YouTube and trying to get good, like get a good amount of subscribers, which I have done, like 20k subscribers soon, depending when I upload this. Like, uh, and yeah, I think I deserve a break as well. So. Uh, hopefully that'll be okay. I'll make a video before I go, and I might play while I'm away, but I don't want to sit there. Yeah, what's the point of holiday if you're still going to uh, play games? It's uh, That's not really the point. So here, we'll have a match against Tottenham, but I did want to talk about like this new skin and other stuff. Um, as you see, Man City dropping points again. Uh, drawing uh, only... P oh, that's in the FA Cup, but still, it's like... Uh, where's our FA Cup match? Did we play it already, or yeah, what's happening? I'll, I'll see. Oh, yeah, I'll see about that later, because I haven't played it for a while. Uh, so yeah, um, I might yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be doing more of this Manchester United one compared to my other series because, um, yeah, they're a big team and they're struggling in real life and I want to do well with them. So Manchester United get Stoke in the FA Cup. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I reckon we can beat Stoke. And you see under five four, uh, big Ziz Zivkovic. This guy, he's going to be insane. He's improving in his strength. Pacey, sixteen pace, uh, very good technically and mentally for a younger guy. So he's going to be a superstar. Hopefully the next Robin Van Persie, if you have him coming through the the ranks, he'll be uh, very, very good for us. I'm hoping anyway. It depends how he develops and all of that. Just working on attacking movement in training. Like, I just want to score goals pretty much. Uh, De Bruyne's already gone to Real Madrid. So, look at that. He's already... How much has he moved for? Uh, let's see, career stats. Yeah, he moved uh, from Chelsea. So, that's what happened there. Uh, he isn't doing great, though. Real Madrid just have a stack midfield. They just have throw a lot of... Un, I don't even know. I've got no words. But the good thing is, Ika Casillas, he's injured uh, for some period of time. Not sure how long. I just saw it now. Uh, injury. Will it show if I just go like that? Okay, great. Uh, just two weeks. Not a long term, so it won't affect Champions League more than likely. Lamela, Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw could be the replacement for left back, but still... And the thing is, well, no doubt he'll be a superstar left back, but the thing is, we've got Danny Rose. For me, he's a rotation uh, right now, but I don't know. He's got he's really quick, but he's not amazing like as in terms of defending, but Belanta is. This guy is going to be a... Look at all those arrows going up. Some are diagonally going up, and some are even more going up. I'm not sure if that's better. Like, you see these ones here, like where the long throws are and are off the ball, and then there's these other ones going a little bit up, but he's just fantastic. He's strong. He's pacey. His marking is 19. That's going to be 20, no doubt. His tackling could be 20 as well. And his pace will probably go up to 16 or 17. He's going to be one of the best defenders in the game. And uh, yeah, I've got the pictures. They look a bit bigger now, so I'm not sure if that will translate into video or translate into the videos. Everything seems a bit bigger, so I'm sure that will be better for videos. Like, I reckon it looks amazing with this skin. And I know it sounds a bit stupid, but the skins make me more motivated to play football managers. It keeps me more into the games, and it's always been that way. I just like it how it looks better. Uh, who doesn't? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Pugliese, uh, he just wants to get some more first-team football. Very happy we signed him again. Another midfielder, midfielder type. Uh, more of a defensive type, but a good passer as well. But still, we've got to see how he develops on loan at Walsall. Um, doing well for them in Skybet League 1. So happy for him. We signed him for 650k from Atalanta uh, in the Serie A. Uh, he's a good prospect, and that's what we need to bring to a team. Denis Suarez... I'm not sure about him. Like He wasn't good enough for Man City. Moved to Barcelona B. So I don't think uh, he'll be of required quality. So if you like me going through all these other things, instead of not instead of the matches, of course I'll still show the match, but do you like all this lead-up stuff? So here, Bakali, offer contract. I don't think we need to offer contract. We already did. Uh, okay, I did an episode, but I don't think I would have uploaded it. Um, yeah, of players coming through. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would have, but uh, Julian Brandt. Uh, he's joining for free, so he could be the replacement like the left winger. We sell Ashley Young. No doubt he has to improve a bit more, so he probably won't come in right away. Um, my combination of Valencia and Nani at the wings are doing well for me. And yeah, Machado eventually is going to be leaving Manchester United, but Vitinho as well, another left midfielder. I would say he would be one to come in. His first touch is not... So I'm going to work on that first touch fully. Like I'm going to work on that uh, as soon as he come. You know how you can specifically focus on the attribute. That's all I'll be doing, so he can improve that first touch. Unfortunately, it's only four. Not sure why. He's Brazilian. I would imagine it would be good. Uh, but anyway, yeah, he's really good. He seems okay, but uh, he would develop into a good player. See his report right here. 
he has potential to be a star Premier League left winger in the future. So we got that guy there. But we do have another guy on loan uh, who we bought earlier for a decent sum. Like, I felt he would be a superstar. And yeah, I still think he is. Uh, and he needs to get the work permit, doesn't he? But I believe he will get it. Uh, Jean Kouassi, the Ivory Coast international player, he's got caps already for 19. So uh, that's very impressive. Just looking at his attributes originally, or initially, I should say, initially. Um, yeah, he doesn't look great, but he's really quick. He's really pacey. Well, not pace. That's the agility acceleration. That's really quick. He's got good dribbling. Finishing 11 for a winger, that's pretty good. That could move up to 14 or 15, and that um, he could be really good. But still, I've got to see how he develops. If you look here, for Walsall, how has he performed? He's been actually really, really good. And for Hajduk, his first, he scored two goals in five games. Not bad. Uh, I saw some highlights of him on YouTube. He looked great, so I want to sign him. And he's been dominating for Walsall. And at, well, I'm not sure why I said Walsall. Um, at work, Antwerp. Walsall just came to my head because of before. Uh, so we'll see how he develops. You think he'll get that work permit eventually because he's getting appearances for his country. I believe that plays into part a little bit. So we're having another game against Tottenham. I'll show you the previous results. I might as well. Uh, where are we? Fixtures. Um, yeah, we had a game against Tottenham. in the Yeah, we bet them in the FA Cup. Uh, Van Persie and Hernandez scoring with Vidic picking a red card. Last, oh, last match, we uh, drew against Stoke away. But we've been on a good run. Look how long we haven't lost for. The only match we lost was against Man City in the League Cup on penalties and early in the season against Chelsea. So I'm really happy. Leave your thoughts. Do you think I've done well uh, compared to real life, I reckon? Uh, yeah, we've done well. Only one loss in the league, and that was early in the league. Um, yeah, pretty early in the league, I guess. Well, yeah, I guess second month or so. Uh, uh, yeah, against Chelsea, who are the, topping the league right now. So I'm pretty happy we have won against teams, or being at least unbeaten against teams we're expected to do well against. So that's all good uh, compared to other teams like Man City. Uh, Luiki, and sometimes when I play through, I miss on signings, but I don't think we need to make signings. And the one thing, look at this, I've got to look at my balance. It's only just uh, like under 5 million. So that's something I always like to keep in check, the balance. Uh, even if you are a big team like Man United, we're improving our stadium, so that's always going to improve. That's going to be good. Uh, see if we can get any more. I can't get Parent Club because we already got Chicago. Uh, I think I picked up Chicago this year because I didn't. they didn't have them already. Initially, and sorry if you hear something like bang on my door, just like wind. We have this Christmas stuff, and it's windy, so that collides and whatnot. Anyway, Lingard is going out on loan, and I feel myself really getting into the save. I'm not sure. It might be just a combination of different things, like the skin and Manchester United wanting to improve them, uh, being the real replacement for Sir Alex Ferguson. So this episode will be going a bit longer, but if you like me going through just talking to you, or oh, Everton lost, that creates a bigger gap. Wow. Um, as I was saying, yeah, just creating bigger gaps right now. Um, it's basically just going to be between me and Chelsea, I would imagine. You know, Man City, oh, that was the FA Cup, but but still, it's uh, still big. Uh, and this is an important game for Tottenham as well. If somehow they can beat us, it will bring them back into the frame, uh, top four uh, contention uh, to qualify for the Champions League. So Arsenal, they pick up a 3-0 win with Mesut Ozil uh, scoring twice and Oliver Giroud uh, doing well. Uh, Crystal Palace, they pretty much almost always get relegated in the game. And Hull City picking up a big win. That's for them. Danny Graham scoring twice in two minutes. Fantastic for him. Uh, Cardiff, ooh, they pick up a win against Swansea as well. Again, uh, another top team in, uh, dropping some points. They're fourth. Uh, West Brom beating Norwich uh, quite convincingly, 5-1. Uh, West Ham beating Aston Villa near the bottom of the table. And again... Uh, Liverpool dropping points. Suarez. I think I might keep my tabs on Suarez. He's dominating in real life. So let's get a scout report. And we'll see if we can make a signing for Suarez in the future. If, you know, Van Persie declines or something. But how old is he? Uh, Suarez. 26. Yeah, he's still a decent age. We'll just see how things pan out through the seasons. Uh, he's dominating in real life, as you know. So uh, we'll just see how it goes. How long Van Persie can last. And, yeah, I wonder how Van Persie feels now. He moved to Manchester United. Obviously won the title last year. But... Uh, yeah, sorry. I just dropped my microphone because I got this new stand here and I kind of hit it. I'm not sure why. So hopefully it doesn't make too much noise here. Um, yeah, I, this stand for it is not great and it's actually the one that's supposed to be for it. So, uh, so yeah, I apologize for that. Apparently Suarez has no intention of joining United, which is uh, not great to see, but obviously there's heaps and heaps of options. So again, okay, let's. I like answer. I don't like the full press conferences, but I like these little calls and that. They're decent. Okay, 
David Moyes has been speaking very highly of you. Has he? I don't really care about Moyes. I've replaced him. Uh, I don't need David Moyes to tell me that I'm better than him. Everyone will be able to see it. No, I want to. I want to say it like this. I don't need David Moyes to tell me that I'm better than him. I know I'm better than him. Not whatever this. Everyone will be able to see. It. Yeah, I'll just say that passionately because that's kind of what I want to say. Uh, anyway, where what is he doing now? Anyway, where is he? Okay, Moy, who's he managing now? Uh, to- oh, he's gone to Tottenham, has he? Uh, no wonder they are. Well, they're actually doing pretty good, six. So I can't really, um, yeah, talk about them. So Man City against Sunderland, they should be. Yeah, Sunderland, they're dropping. And I'm not. Is he saying I play defensive football? Okay, but just wait till Lingard accepts this. Uh, Lingard, I actually like him because I saw him in friendlies against where he came to Australia and played some games. I, I can't. I think played against Melbourne Victory. I can't remember who they played against, but he did good. Um, yeah, really impressed. Uh, he did well. Uh, but anyway, uh, where are we? Uh, yeah, you see some of them, they always near the bottom, but Pinar's dominating. And yeah, they said we're playing defensive football. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I was going to get to. And we've scored 46 goals and 11. Just because you don't concede not much... If you don't concede much goals, it doesn't mean you're playing defensive. I, sco- I still scored 46 goals. Uh, more than he has at Tottenham, 31. So, 15 more goals. Uh, he's the one who should be focusing... Uh, talking about playing defensive. I've scored more goals, but I've only conceded a very low amount. So I'm happy with my performances. It's not playing defensive. It's just playing well. Uh, that's what I think it is anyway. What do you think it is? Or do you think he's just t- trying to play mind games? Man City pick up a very much needed win and Chelsea, but they're too hard to stop really. Uh, I have no idea how we're going to stop them. We have a match against them, obviously. And I reckon this thing shows well here. So it looks decent, but they're first. They're going to be hard to break down. Got a solid manager as well. They're going to be very... They're going to prove hard to beat. We sold Kagawa to them as well. Uh, but, yeah, because we got Pogba. Who, like, we sold him and then picked up Pogba. Do you think it's worth... Uh, that was worth the sale? Selling Kagawa for, like, 30 million. Then we picked up Pogba for the price we did. Uh, obviously, Kagawa doing good, but Pogba is superstar. He scored some decent goals for me from range. and uh, That's what I want to start to show some as well. And, yeah, uh, leave in your comments. How regular do you want to see these, like, in terms of... How far do you want me to play through it? Like, do you just want me to show you FA Cup games? Like, the next one straight off against Stoke? I might do that. Because uh, it is a cup game. But it is Stoke as well. We respect I win. Just, uh, yeah, drop in your comments. Even though I might play that already. So, it might not, it, yeah, it might not matter. But still, uh, for future games. So, this is a very important game. If we don't win, we're going to fall behind. So, uh, where's our starting lineup? Do we have to get Van Persie? You have to get Van Persie in uh, for Welbeck. Uh, Hernandez is doing really good, and Rooney's kind of dropping. I don't really. I'm not. Rooney's not fully convincing me right now. Um, one reason because we put the low win bonus. No doubt Rooney wouldn't like that. Ashley Young. It doesn't look like we're gonna. Yeah, it doesn't look like he teams want him. Probably because of his high wages. No doubts. Uh, but I'm really happy with my starting team. Uh, but Vidic is suspended. Uh, that isn't great. See, so we're playing Belanta at left back. He's doing well. Jones. No doubt he's a good centre back and even better for the future, but I reckon Evans, he's on better morale. I like having players with better morale in the team. Anyone out of the team that could make a difference? Young? Yeah, well, Young has done good in terms of average rating, so maybe I should give him a chance, do you think? Uh, drop in your comments if I can't sell him. Uh, yeah, um, I'd very, I definitely appreciate people's thoughts. Fellaini, defensive midfield. Yeah, leave your thoughts on this starting lineup. I reckon it's good. Hernandez is great. He scores heaps. Uh, loving him right now, so that's a solid lineup in my opinion. And, yeah, as I said, I just want to check how many... This has gone for, like, 18 minutes already. I haven't played a game. I, I apologize for that, but there's been a lot of information I want to get through. And I want to turn this more into a Let's Play as well. Like, playing through it a lot more. And not just playing a game, then shutting off the video. Well, not shutting off. I mean, like, just playing the game and that's it. Like, that seems boring to me. I want to show you all the information in the series. Like, I'm sure you get what... That's what a Let's Play is supposed to be like, really. And yeah, I'm probably like this more than my Sutton one, losing against fake teams or fake players. But that's just me and what I what I went through currently. Like, I hate that. And you know big teams, Manchester United, I got motivated as David Moyes has no, no idea what he's doing in real life. So I thought I'd change that up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I'll say we've been on a good run lately and we can start the match. Uh, no doubt looking for a win against... Tottenham here today at Old Trafford, and we're, you saw, expanding the stadium, so it's all good. Um, things are going to look bright, and we've got all this uh, nice scoreboard stuff. It looks sweet. Oh, 
this looks amazing, uh, to be honest, and BBC Sport as well. It looks pretty sweet, if you ask me. But anyway, uh, moving on. I want to continue with our winning streak here. Uh, well, not winning streak, just uh, a good streak in terms of just playing the games. And I've got this little rating stuff here. You can see that if you want. And yeah, of course, helps me as well. Come on, Valencia, get in. Okay, he left it behind. What is he doing? Valencia. I'm not sure what they're doing. Go, Pogba, shoot. He has actually scored a few of those. Just need to see, do I have anything else on here? Nah. I got full... Yeah, well, yeah. I'll just leave it. My battery is unreliable. It could not shut off at any time. Uh, it's a bit unpredictable, yeah. So let's see what, what's happening here. Not too much action is going on. It's kind of stuck on the 10th minute. I'm not sure why this... I think I've been... Something's been happening. I think I'll just move the between highlights. I'll just move that faster up. That's a bit better. I think. Good direct to camera. That's alright. Yeah, because I tried to do live streaming. And... I don't know. It didn't work. And I think I just need to maybe restart my computer. So sorry if it goes a bit slow for this match. Should go better in future matches. I might just turn it down a little bit. I'm not sure. But anyway... Oh, it's a penalty. Thank you. Wow. I didn't even notice what happened, to be honest. And they picked up a penalty. You see Soldado, he came in. Slow motion. Oh, that was cool, yeah. They've got to give credit to him for that. And to be honest, we're probably due to lose in, in the league as well. And you know Tottenham, their quality... Uh, and leave your thoughts. I always want to see where do you think I can improve my team. Uh, I want to give definitely get feedback for that. And for me, like doing this now, it just feels really relaxed for me. Just sitting down, relaxing, making a video. So yeah, the commentary might not be amazing. I'm just like sitting back, relaxing, just enjoying. Instead of oh goal, Van Persie, what a hit! That's why Van Persie is the best striker in the Premier League. At his just at his top. Well, I guess him and Suarez are the best. Aguero. Uh, definitely put a challenge in for that as well. But Van Persie, just his strikes are amazing. Uh, it's shown in the game as well. See, Hernandez played it for Van Persie. And just with uh, mass power there, put it home. And the equalizing goal, exactly what we needed at this stage of the match. You see, we're dominating possession, always above that halfway mark. So we did deserve that goal, in my opinion, in my view. Uh, so heading towards halftime here, let's see... Uh, let's see what's going to be the result. One minute of injury time to be played and nothing's going to happen in that tremendous match so far. Uh, decent first half, both teams scoring some goals. Unfortunately, we conceded by penalty, but still, I always just say assertively, uh, second option. And my players get fired up most of the time, so that's very good uh, to motivate my players. And you know how that goes. It's good to motivate your players, obviously, the, to get results and come back. Uh, actually, I've been really, really good from second half, yeah, the halftime team talks. Uh, they get a good reaction most of the time. You see crowd is getting up and down. And yeah, I did want to talk about, uh, I'm not sure about FIFA videos right now. Like, Obviously, I could get Xbox One, Xbox One, sorry. Yeah, I could get Xbox One if I could. I have to do FIFA 14, career mode. But honestly, um, I'm not sure about it. Like, uh, I, I'm not sure if I should use my money on it or not or save. Like... Uh, if I'm doing football manager, like heaps of people do FIFA, that's uh, that's the biggest thing that plays on my mind, um, because yeah, there's going to be so much content out there, and football manager is different. Like there's way less, yeah, way less uh, people, or at least popular people, in terms of subscribers. Um, where's our free kick? <laughs> um, yeah, like, uh, do you think it's best for me, like in terms of if I want my channel to be successful? Uh, do you think it's better to focus on Football Manager? The game, I clearly, I do enjoy it. Once I get into a save like this, you can tell I do enjoy it. Uh, so, yeah, um, I just want to hear people's thoughts and all of that kind of thing. Hernandez, keep going. Nanny, get in. Nanny! Oh, that's a goal. Come on, I know it lagged there. Sorry about that, but there's not much I can do. Second goal of the game for Robin Van Persie. He puts it in for us. Fantastic. Just look at that play again this time. In slow motion. This is not lag. This is slow motion. Uh, look at this. Look at that nanny. Just an immaculate ball there. N the goalkeeper couldn't do anything about it. Their defenders couldn't do anything about it. It was just perfect. Love that ball. Nanny playing at left midfield, doing the job. 
We do need rotation options, no doubt. Uh, probably better than Young, but yeah, what can you do? Yeah, you gotta. You, it's way. It's the way teams go, and I'll be looking as seasons go by. You'll probably see me mold the team I, the way I want to be. Um, yeah, the way I want the team to be. So Pogba, um, he's not doing great in this game. And yeah, I'm just going to try something. Uh, sorry if you, if this is annoying you or whatever, but it's annoying me. If you can tell, anyway. Um, if you, I'm tr I tried to play on a decent high level or something. I don't know what it's called. Uh, so yeah, sorry if it lags sometimes. I'm, I'll say I'm get. I'll, yeah, I would say I'll get a new computer, but I probably won't. Um. I'm playing on graphics quality medium. Should I just put it on low to make it go a bit faster? Um, it might not look as good, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. See, I play on window mode, so you can see half of my screen there. I'm trying to like, play on everything basic, like less less power as possible, I'm sure you know. But how long is this? This is going to probably go like over 30 minutes. Yeah, it'll probably end around 30 minutes, I guess. And yeah, this is how the game processes for me. So I apologize about that. And yeah, that's what I mean. You don't need amazing laptop to make YouTube videos, or at least Football Manager. Like, you can see, uh, if it goes like this, my laptop isn't amazing. It's 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 alright, though. I can I can play the game. Uh, yes, here we go. I'll be back. Yeah, you can see I use Camtasia. That's what most people use. It's like the best screen recording, I believe. It just takes long to process sometimes, so I apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I'll leave all this skin and stuff in the description. You see, it's like Alavanja or whatever. Um, yeah, Alav here we go. And see, now it changes back to this. I'll take this off there. Okay. So this is how you change it. I might as well show you this, I guess. I, I click on the one you want and just make it dark so your eyes don't hurt. And yeah, that's how it goes, pretty much. Okay, we're back. Might as well make subs now. So, uh, sorry if at points this video was a bit longer, but what can you do? I'm just doing what I enjoy, and that's yeah, that's pretty much it. Like when when I do the videos, they go faster, like longer than I think they are. Waste not waste time. Like the time goes by really quick because I'm like I'm enjoying it probably. So, well, not probably. I am enjoying it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Nanny can. We're just giving a rest to a couple players here. Um, who can come on? Fabio uh, or Danny Rose? I'll give Danny Rose a chance. We'll leave one option in case we get an injury or a red card, and we can allow for that. So have faith in the player. Wayne Rooney and Danny Rose. Yeah, I think I may need to restart my computer because I installed a couple things. Or and yeah, like I said, I was going to do live streams, but that didn't quite work out for me. So. I think I just need to restart my computer to, and it will start going properly again. But I did want to show you this match. I find this uh, match is definitely important one. You see Danny Rose being replaced. Well, Danny Rose coming on, sorry. And they're making a sub as well. Valencia picked up a knock. But I think he's alright. Belanta picking up a yellow. And yeah, there seems to be a lot of action happening uh, in terms of, like, at the bottom, it's stopping a lot. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what sub I need to make here. I just... Okay, we'll see what happens here, then I'll make the sub. Go. Or do you want me to play... Yeah, do you want me to play in 2D? Maybe 2D is definitely a lot quicker, but people want to see in 3D as well, so... Uh, people say 2D looks crap, uh, but 3D, I don't think 3D is that amazing. But, yeah, I just want to see people's thoughts, to be honest. Come on, can we score a last one so I can just have the win in the bag? Van Persie, find Rooney, find Valencia. Come on, three points. Oh my god, it won't stand. Why? That was an offside, surely. No idea. It's really frustrating, to be honest. Ah, uh, Van Persie. You gotta rest Van Persie. You can't get him injured, and you know he's injury prone. So, we bring on... Oh, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring on Carrick, a bit of reliability in midfield, then swap him, bring Rooney. 
Yeah, I reckon that's best to do. There you go. Character come on. Assertive on the second option. Looked happy, so it gets a good result. And, yeah, let's continue to play. Or well, watch the game. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I can. Say, do you want me to go back to 2D? Or, like, compared to my other saves, do you want me to do on 2D? But uh, it looks decent, but I don't think my laptop is up to it. So, do you think 2D would be better? Drop in your comments, and no doubt the videos will be shorter, and I'll be able to upload quicker. But, yeah, some people like 3D, um, I know. So, just, yeah, I want to see the feedback in the comments, what you want. This is just sort of going back to Manchester United, um, doing an update video, seeing what people want to see from it. Oh, don't concede. Yes! Three points, Van Persie. He dominated against Tottenham today. Fantastic. Uh, so, that's, I'll say passionately, very, yeah, very well done. We dominated. Well, I believe we did. Not sure what David Moyes is going to think. Uh, but here, yeah, he had four shots on target. We had nine. Uh, we move up, uh, creating a big sp space between us and Man City as well. Man City pushing up and Everton. But uh, yeah, we still got a decent space. We still have a match against Chelsea in the league at some time. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, again, I just want to do an update. This is sort of update because I didn't do a, yeah, the video for a while. And uh, update with the new skin. Uh, talking about a few things. See what people want. I'll leave it here because it'll probably take long to process again. So I'll just... Here we go. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll probably go back to 2D just to make it a bit more quicker, but leave your thoughts. Um, yeah, it will definitely process quicker, I would imagine, on 2D. Uh, Van Persie impressing and all of that. So, yeah, I'll leave it there for now. Um, see, David Moyes said he was trying to do sneaks or spark some complacency. It's not happening, David. Go away. Uh, so, yeah, um, drop a like if you want some more of this. There might not... Yeah, there might not be much videos. This might be last video for a few days. So I just want to see people's feedback on it. Drop the comments for me to read. As I said, I'll be probably busy over the next... Yeah, like this holiday period. Might not have too much regular videos, but that's what you expect around Christmas. I might have one every few days. Not really sure. I just got to... Yeah, I'll see how it goes. So, uh, yeah, drop your comments. I'll love to read them over the few days uh, when I can. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later.